My roommate and I took a punk rock tour of the northern UK based entirely off this poster for the Scarborough Punk Fest. If you're not familiar with punk rock, you should know that these bands go way back to punk's beginnings in the 1970s. Most of these bands have kept playing for the last 50 years. These bands don't tour the United States as often as we'd like, and when they do, they usually hit the east and west coast, and they skip the third. And that's a drag if you're abroad from Houston. So if they wouldn't come to us, we decided we were going to have to go to them. And we found out pretty quickly why so many bands say yes to the Scarborough Punk Festival. Located in Yorkshire on the wild North Sea, it's the town that has everything. So here's a quick primer. You've got a sandy beach and two giant bluffs or cliffs. On one cliff is the Grand Hotel. It was built in 1867 and it's still in operation today, although it only has 1.8 stars on Yelp. Right behind the hotel is the oldest funicular in the UK. It's been continuously running since 1881. There's also stairs that run along the funicular if you'd like to challenge your fitness level. But once you're on the beach, you can take a walk along the boardwalk or you can go to the spa. And this walkway right here takes you gently up the cliff until you get to the cliff bridge. It leads you back to the Grand Hotel and it gives you a wicked view of the whole town. But we're here the night before the festival and we're hungry. So we decided to check out the boardwalk. And before we knew it, we were making friends, buying rounds, and singing karaoke. And we forgot all about the food. We also learned something new about UK punks. And that's that they have a different list of songs and bands on their mental list than we do. Check them out singing along to this rare song about Texas that I've never even heard. Is this the way to have a they did know the Ramones, though. And we also learned that UK punks are juvenile delinquents. And we learned all of that just in our first night. We stayed at the Royale, which is a Britannia chain hotel. Expect vintage staircases and broken promises with this group. This grotto looking pool was boasted on the internet when I booked and shut down when we got there. But they are conveniently located, which meant the spa was just a five minute walk. And it was the greatest concert venue I think I've ever seen. There were so many cool places to hang out that you didn't even bother checking out the places that look cooler because you already felt too cool to be any cooler. I guess that's kind of what heaven's like. Anyway, every time we did turn a corner, there were more places to lounge and lots of peacocking punks bringing their A-game for the hot fashion takes. Check out the detail on this hand-painted Sex Pistols leather motorcycle jacket. I loved the hair of these punks. We've got everything from dark goth to sparkling punk. The spiked mohawks were a recurring theme, but we also loved the barbed wire tights. This fellow has taken the Sex Pistols to a Hawaiian vacation. And this guy here... Is it because I'm fat that it's going on landscape? No, darling, you look marvelous. Look what the back of his shirt says. Here's some serious shit. Everywhere we went, people bought us drinks for being Texans or Americans, including this guy, who gave us his heartfelt reasons for why he loved Americans. Job as part of a soldier was to shoot the fuckers. Yeah. They were shooting at me. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, shoot back. Shoot them back like, yeah. Uh, we used to have a saying, um, happiness is a confirmed kill. And that's really what, you know. Uh, we're, all, um, we're all friends now, because they're all in charge, they're all in government now. But that's, that was it. I had, I had a Army 89, so it's all different now. We're all friends now. That's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we lost some good lads over there. That was, there. The, that was the worst I mean, that's why a lot of the Americans, I've worked with a lot of American soldiers, a lot of American forces in the army, and I have the utmost respect for the Americans. I love them, you know. So when you come over here and you hear about the Brits saying, ah, goddamn Americans and all shit, fuck them off. We don't all think like that. A lot of us fucking think you're great, and I, I'm one of them. I appreciate it. All the best, mate, yeah. What did you think of Goldblade? They used to be the membranes, kind of like, I thought they were kind of like Killing Joke, early Killing Joke kind of stuff. Yeah. 
no one has to tell her yellow and blue clash. And she clearly knows what she's doing. And this plaid on plaid on plaid number makes me want to play the bagpipes while being chained to a cliff. Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea is one of the main reasons why I wanted to go, and they did not disappoint. That's also, as a side note, that was Billy Idol's first band, and he wanted to sing, and they wouldn't let him, so he went and joined Generation X, and the rest is fucking history. Well, they did right to work, they did all the classics, except for No Flowers, unfortunately. I mean, you just can't go wrong with the classics, again with the hair. This head-to-toe rockabilly look is completed with this bowling bag. If these two were to fight, they're already ready to patch things up. You love the Rizzolas. I love the Rizzolas. Well, I, I love, uh, I love the chick singer. I thought she really, yeah. I mean, they were just solid, tight, solid. rockabilly, fun, and the the, uh, the the swag table was just mobbed after the show. Yeah, they did great, and um, I was in the beer line, of course, and then they opened up with the Fleetwood Mac song, so. I was like, hurry up, give me my beer, so they could run in there and yell someone's going to get their head kicked in tonight. Uh -huh. And I love telling people that that's a Fleetwood Mac song that have no idea that that's a Fleetwood Mac song. This neon on black leather nearly killed me. And here's that Sex Pistol shirt from the front. You're beautiful looking people, really, aren't you? I've been watching you, you're fucking lovely, aren't you? Anti-nowhere. <laughs> oh God! Of course, they played the hits. They played so what, and um, I hate people. But they also they also did let's break the law. They did uh, we're we're the league. You know, other ones that are to me just as popular as those two. But of course, they killed everything. I met Tom, and then I found out while he was on stage that he was Tom, the guitar player. Of course, Animal. Is animal, and I was very surprised with what he's put himself through since the early 70s and late 60s. He still just looks like animal, period, and acts like him too. The bus pots. Um, I thought they were great considering the lack of firepower since he wasn't there, but I thought I thought they put on a great set. And then I went to take a piss, and there was um, this like football dude standing at the urinal next to me and he was just like going so i was really disappointed in the buzz car so what about you and i was just like i thought they did pretty good you know considering and uh who sang for them i can't remember his name but it was the other guitar player that sang also The second day of our adventure, we got to ride the funicular down to the beach when we realized it was Easter Sunday. And when we got to the spa, folks were wearing their Easter bonnets. This one here depicts ancient fertility symbols. We saw some more childish behavior. What did Dionne Warwick ever do to you? She asked nicely. And then the first act we caught was a real banger. Uh, electric eel shot. <laughs> They're a great band from Japan. Really killer metal band with a drummer that plays with four sticks with no pants on. 
And he and he does symmetrical things with the sticks so that they look really cool. But okay. while playing awesome. While playing awesome. Very reminiscent of the first two Metallica records, but fun. That's mm. what I kind of saw them as. They were great. I adore this Hugo Boss inspired look. I'll do anything she says. These two are just damn glad to be here. No, no, no. They were phenomenal. Better than I would imagine they would have been. I mean, I, everything about it. The whole set is just spot on, perfect. These two girls were so bubbly with their cat eyes and their Chelsea do's that we voted them most likely to gleefully jump into puddles. I kept thinking this was Rick Rubin, but it wasn't. And what did we think of Peter and the Testy Babies? I thought they were tight. They were on. And, um, yeah, you're, it's, they used to cover, they used to cover uh, Hurry Up Harry as well. But they didn't do it. You know, because Sham was on the bill. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> seems innocent enough but clearly she's into some disturbing media collage I'm picking these two for my dodgeball team because they look like some little ass kickers UK subs fucking rule always have always will it's like everything they played Warhead they played uh um what is it Something love you, <laughs> Charlie Harper. And he was, yeah, Charlie Harper. And they, who sings the song about him? I don't know. Yeah, it's one of, the, it's one of the songs. So, was it, was it the Anti Nowhere League that sang a song about Charlie Harper? I'm not sure. I know you were telling me about it, but it's, it didn't strike a memory. It didn't ring a bell, ring a chord. When they told punks to wear all black, these guys didn't get the memo. And I found this guy to be just such a doll. Sam 69. I thought it was going to be more of a old, old folks slobber knocker soccer hooligan thing than it was. It was actually pretty tight and pretty together and it sounded great. When the show was over, we walked home over the cliff bridge and past the Grand with 200 drunk punks and a tipsy North Sea. It was magical. We spent one last day in Scarborough checking out the boardwalk, going to a haunted house and eating ice cream at the Harbor Bar. That night we had a pint at the Merchant Pub and watched an Irish band gig until they stopped. <laughs> Though I wouldn't call it punk, I would call it the perfect ending to our trip to Scarborough. That's all for now. I leave you with this handsome fella and his all-black military look. Who sang for me? Everybody's on top of the pops. <laughs> <laughs>